More. We're joined now by Major General Masoud Azizi, who served as a former Afghan Deputy Minister for Policy and Strategy. Thanks so much for speaking to us. Now, the Taliban managed to scrap, scrap the uh, intra-Afghan talks in Doha. They've now been canceled. But was it really about the size of the government delegation for the Taliban? I believe uh, that, yes, uh, these rumors are correct, that it is the size and also uh, uh, related who should be participating and who should not be participating. Uh, the, the Taliban came up with a statement and saying that these uh, delegates are uh, probably more suitable for uh, a wedding party uh, rather than for a conversation or for peace conference. But, of course, Afghan government, uh, uh, which they believe it should be more uh, inclusive, rather it should be exclusive. Afghanistan is consistent of different uh, ethnicities and different tribes and different political opinion. So I think it's very important that we bring everybody on the room so this is good for trust building. And also Afghanistan government is, have a clear standpoint that this was just exactly the way of conference, or like it held in Moscow, a little bit a bigger size. But uh, for the later, which will be the negotiation, it will be a smaller team and it will be sent. So I wish that would happen in order to build the confidence and trust uh, uh, the, as an Afghan uh, dialogue would happen. But some say the Taliban actually just has the upper hand here, that they're dictating who attends and how much they'll contribute. Is there some truth to that? I think uh, we, all the sides believe that these 18 years of conflict is, needs to come with a resolution, you know, with with, uh, uh, and the best way is not the military. So the dialogue is the best way. So I would suggest to the Taliban that if they would like to, if they really believe on the peace, I think they shouldn't be uh, by 50 number increasing or decreasing or 10 numbers of the participant. I think this is very important that everybody should be heard and everybody should be listened. Uh, so uh, if we, we really been believing to making this peace happen oh, and ending this 18 years conflict in Afghanistan. Right. Tell me then, do you think uh, Zalmay Khalilzad is the person to actually get these talks back on track? I mean, will pressure from him actually make a difference? Does the Taliban see the United States as a legitimate broker here? Listen, I believe um, if you look at any countries, any conflict resolution or making any deals to make it happen, normally it's not an overnight or quick issue to be resolved. Uh, we were expecting the delay. We are uh, probably there will be more delay in future, but this is not the end of it. It is a process. I believe that uh, Zulmay Khalilzad, the U.S., is one of the main players. Uh, putting that back on track and bringing the different players all together under one room and creating the opportunity where they can discuss the future of Afghanistan and as well as resolving the current conflict. So I'm very optimistic. Uh, I was expecting this delay, and I believe that uh, uh, this is not the end, and it's more opportunity will become uh, will be uh, will happen and created. And the patriot Afghans they really believe by sitting together and resolving this conflict. Well, it's good to hear your optimism, but I mean, is negotiating with the Taliban really the best way forward? This is a militant extremist group, as defined by most uh, objective parties. Do you really think they have peace in the interest of the Afghan people at heart, to the point where they deserve to be part of the future of politics in Afghanistan? These are Based on my experience, uh, all these different players, they have tried everything uh, which they can win. Uh, but they, they came to understanding that the military is not a solution. So the only option for us is left, whether it's Taliban, whether it's the Afghan government, whether it is the NATO and America, and they all believe that the only solution and, and long-term prosperity for Afghanistan is the dialogue and resolving this issue through the political uh, ways. Even uh, those that they were against of the peace process all these years, but now they have very, sm very strong optimism. But there's also a fair is being created. I, uh, I think within one side there's hope, but on the other side there's fear. Uh, whether this peace deal uh, will make more opportunities or somehow it will affect 
the 18 years achievement that we have achieved uh, by a high uh, price, actually. So I think within sitting uh, settlements and dialogue, we can really identify that how is the best way and, uh, and the future of Afghanistan will be decided. So I think okay. it's very important. The only solution for us is to have a dialogue. Okay, Major General Masoud Azizi, thank you so much for joining us there from Kabul.